Um, yes, all right. Can you hear me? All right. What's the diggity deez? So in this video, we're gonna be making a round system. Uh, because I feel like it goes along with the last video we did, which was a lobby system. They kind of like go together, you know, like either your game has a lobby system or it has a round system. It could have no type of system. But um, yeah, I feel like a lobby and round system are kind of similar together. Or they're just kind of similar, not together. Let's start it though. Um, and this is going to be really quick, I think. It's going to be a very quick video because it's not like super complicated what I'm going to get into. And you can use, you know, tool. there's like utilities you can use and pick up that could do this for you. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to do it yourself and manage it yourself. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, first things first, I'm going to get um, run service. This is a server script, by the way. So, I'm going to get run. Uh, I'm going to get run service. Um, and then we're going to have a function on heartbeat. Um, and then we're going to have step. I think it's just the step variable. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, I, I can't really remember because I don't really pay attention much, but we'll see right here. Yep. It's the step variable. They call it Delta time here, but I'm pretty sure it's step in the docs. Um, but whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh on heartbeat and then so here we're gonna have um a few variables at the top which is like um time gone by another popular one is time elapsed but i'm just gonna use time gone by um time gone by plus equals step and then we can have a few constants over here like um like intermission time equals however uh, long you want your intermission to be. I know intermissions are getting shorter now because of attention spans declining. So I'm gonna go with an intermission of two and a half seconds. I feel like that's a fair representative of where people's attention spans are at nowadays. Um, <laughs> all right, so now we're going to say if time gone by is greater than or equal to one and game state. So we're going to have a game state right here, local game state equals um intermission uh and game state is equal to intermission then we're gonna have another variable countdown and then we're gonna say that's equal to intermission time then countdown minus equals one but we're actually going to set time gone by back to one time gone by equals or we're going to set it back to zero equals zero and then i like to do this at the top first and then whatever thing else i like to separate that's how i like to organize as you can see i did the same thing here you know i just keep it super super organized then minus equals one and then we can have if countdown is less than or equal to zero then game state equals round in progress okay and then you could also do like you know starting round like i'm gonna do game state starting round and then you will go like well if my you know, like, um, 
hold on a second um then you could say like you could have over here another if right here like if um game state equals starting round then and then you can like do checks of like okay am i doing all i need to then maybe i have okay round started teleport players once teleport players is good and all players are teleported then i could like you know go in and do like another countdown and then i start or whatever you want to do right like you could there's so many stuff you could do you know be creative with this but this truly is like how you could create a round system right here it's really that simple and then obviously like you know customize it however you want but this is a good start for you to to get your round system going um so yeah we have countdown then uh round in progress if you know game state equals uh round in progress and not has started round then has started round equals true and then we can go in here and say well this is what we want to do for you know starting our round has started round equals false and then you know we can go in here and like uh we teleport players you know and then whatever you want to freaking do like whatever whatever you're doing right and this this really is i think i think this is the start of a round system i mean this really is a round system and then when the round is over um like if like say it's a, a killing situation and there's one winner like so if hashtag uh players get children is uh less than or equal to one then um we can do uh game state equals uh intermission or you can do restart or setting back to lobby whatever you know whatever you want it is you want to do so then you can do game state intermission again obviously since we're doing players we want to get the players um variable uh but yeah and then so yeah you can just do that um and this is this is really how you would you know yeah, and like obviously it can get more complicated and we can add more conditions and it can get really crazy or it can just remain fairly simple. Um, if it's a simple round based game, like it's not going to get that complicated, really. Uh, but yeah, but that's uh, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Where's the fucking...